Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Yes, it's the same day. Earlier today for lunch, I made the tomato soup and now today we're going to be making low sodium spaghetti. Now this is going to be a batch for two different kind of spaghettis, but we're not going to be showing how they cook their full sodium spaghetti. We're just going to be showing us uh, how we make ours. Now this is one and a half pounds of ground beef we have over here half a white onion and a package of sliced white mushrooms and now I'm also going to be using some homemade not homemade sorry some uh, store-bought uh, silver plate uh, tomato basil pasta sauce right here I don't know if you can see it but that's what I'm using um, and we're in half a cup is 130 milligrams of sodium and that's all you need for serving. And I'm also going to show you guys how to make your pasta not stick together and be like super good, you know, al dente. And that's how we cook it. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be using my little fancy tool here that cooks ground beef. And we're going to cut our oven on five medium heat because we do not want to burn our meat like who wants to burn it and while all that's draining we'll cook the mushrooms and the onions and uh, put our portion out with our meat sauce and our uh, and our onions and everything like that now let's go ahead and get started okay first of all I did a big no-no and I added cold meat to a cold pan don't ever do that let your pan heat up first but <laughs> I'm kind of in a hurry because I'm a little bit rushed on time because it is 4.09 and I need to get this done and I like recording before they get here and but still have like dinner look good so we're just going to mush this up a little bit you know get all that done I love this little this little thing right here and put a little black pepper on this meat and I'm probably going to use about a teaspoon two teaspoons there of meat. I'm going to turn my temperature up a little bit more to a six. Get it going. I'm going to go over here and wash my hands. But um, once it starts frying and sizzling and stuff, I'll come back, come right back. And it shouldn't take long. And we're going to drain our meat. Um, I usually drain mine in the sink. So we'll just get started. Alright guys, that meat is a frying. And this is how it's looking. You just take this little thing and twirl it like this. It makes cooking ground beef a whole lot easier. I know it looks silly, but it's one of my favorite kitchen tools that I use making ground beef. And while that's cooking, um, I did put a pot over here. And usually I use to salt the water, but guess who can't salt the water no more? This girl. Um, but we're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to this. And do not put your pasta in until it is, uh, until this water is boiling. That's how you make your pasta real good. So once this gets boiling, We'll put the pasta in, but um, yeah, and usually I put a little black pepper in there, and it not cooking up just beautifully. Now see, uh, my mama's boyfriend, I usually buy a different kind of ground beef, but he just picks up anything, God bless him. Um, but this is like 80% and 20% fat. I usually do a little bit higher than this. So I probably won't be eating much of this ground beef. But you can see all that water and fat and all that come in here. Uh, it don't really give a good sear to your meat and cook it like it should. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. And when it's done, I'll show you guys, and then I'm going to drain this bad boy, and drain this off, and put my onions and mushrooms in here, and we're going to saute those for a few minutes. So, cooked enough, we're going to turn this heat off, and we're going to go over there and drain this meat. And make sure when y'all drain it, y'all ain't 
draining hot oil directly into your sink. Put something underneath it, like a bowl, bowl or something underneath your uh, colander. Because if you put that hot oil down there and you have plastic pipes, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a plumbing issue because that's going to stop up. And plus, grease going down the sink is not good. You will have stopped up. And if you ain't got no boyfriend or if you can't do it, it's going to be a whole bunch of money to go and buy some liquid plumber to get that stuff out of there. Time. We're back, and I'm going to turn this heat back over here on this six. We wiped out a lot of the grease, and so now we're going to put in these sliced mushrooms. And put in these onions. This half onion over here that I diced up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a teaspoon of olive oil. Just give that a good shake and try to get all these mushrooms and onions coated with just a little bit of that oil. And all while we're doing this, that meat is draining. And our water is trying to get hot enough to boil. And that is a big pot, so I can understand why it's taking a little bit longer than it should be. But, uh, it's getting there, slowly but surely. Okay, everybody, this is frying up real nice, as you can see. And now our water is boiling. So I'm going to put in how much my family usually eats of this Mueller's spaghetti right here. It's got zero gram sodium in it. See how it's boiling right there? And my family usually eats about as much as that goes about around my my finger here, my hand. I need a little bit more. Right there. And if we need more, we save the pasta water. And we just put all that in there. And we let that swirl in there. Flipping these and get a good sear on this. I've already separated my meat in a bowl and their meat in a bowl and stir my pasta because it's already getting in there and we're gonna let that cook for about seven ten more minutes depending on your stove and then that should be done you see I like that you see that brown sear on there that's what I like on my food I think it adds a little bit more caramelized flavor, makes it taste better. And I'm going to take these off the heat now uh, and separate them out into my serving size and then add theirs to theirs. And then we'll put all mine back in this pan here and cook it together. So we got my meat and my veggies in here. And I'm going to put my heat on just the three. And we're going to put half a cup of the sauce in there. Yes. Yeah. Maybe a little bit over half a cup. I don't know. But we're going to mix that together just enough to warm up that salt. I might have to add a whole cup to this and just make two meals out of this. I think that's what I'm 
I'm going to do. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. We're going to turn that heat off because that looks warm and good enough. And we'll just transfer this to our bowl. And it's looking about done. Um, there's still some sticky pieces I see. So we're just going to let that cook for about five minutes more. And when that's done, we'll, I'll come back. So it is done. So, um, I know I said before I was going to keep the pasta water, but I don't think we are because I think I made enough pasta. And I'm just going to go over there and drain it and put the pot back over here. Uh, go ahead and turn that heat off. And uh, we're going to rinse our pasta with cold water. Okay, guys, so we've rinsed our pasta off. And it should look like this. And I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to this. And some black pepper. We're just going to give that a good mix and while that's still a little bit warm you know on the stove top it'll warm this back up after we've rinsed it off with that cold water so my spaghetti is done i garnished it with a little bit of parmesan some fresh mozzarella cheese and a little piece of decoration of parsley but this is the pasta and it is just it smells good, looks good. Can't wait to dig into this for dinner. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Bye guys.